Yo team, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Now, we are on, what are we on? Almost three o'clock, half, over halfway through the day. But I wanted to film, because I'm in a great mood, your boys just hit a deadlift PR. Now, we haven't done heavy deadlifts in a long time. At the minute, I've been taking like, doing deadlifts maybe once every two weeks. But when I deadlift, just pyramid sit up to a heavy weight and see what I can pull. Uh, a few weeks ago, I managed to pull 180. 190 is an all-time PR, but it was a very, very long time ago. And then today, we just hit 192, which was every single plate in ours garage. I was super, super nervous. I didn't actually film it because I was like, if I film it, I'm not going to pull it. I need to be in my own zone. I was in a zone, my own zone, but I did get a picture of it. This is how we had to set up the bar. We have massive bumper plates at ours garage. So we had to take up tie bands around to make sure the weight didn't slide off. First set, it actually slid up halfway, halfway through the rep, so obviously it didn't count. We then added a second band and we got the pull. We also just had a bit of a delivery for some new shoe storage. These come from Amazon, I'll give you a bit of a review. But we're building them to transform second bedroom a little bit. No, third bedroom, we've had a little move around of the box room. I'll go through all in a minute. And then the final delivery, is a little Alphalete package, which we haven't had an Alphalete order for ages. So I'll try these bits on in a minute, but first I need a shower. Okay then, so from Alphalete we bought two proud but never satisfied oversized tees. Now, I'm a large in pretty much everything, or have been for the longest time, but when you say you like oversized, don't you think that large, actually let's come back in it, you sh don't you think like it should be large, still fit large, but you should be the same size, it should fit slightly big. This, uh, God, can we get this on here? So, yeah, what do you think of this? I, I like the branding, proud but never satisfied, strip, drop shoulder, but it does feel, well, it feels like a t-shirt that, like a gym t-shirt that should be fitted, that's not, but quite comfortable, quite easy going. You know, I like a tight neckline, this is kind of baggy, but it's all right. Just for chilling in, training in with sort of a t-shirt underneath. Comfortable, lightweight. So we got it in two colours. This one, these bags, they come in compact, but they always rip. And like a, a stony grey blue. Sizing seems pretty consistent. Same again. But yeah, definitely oversized, comfortable. What do we think? It's been a minute since I bought from Alphalete, Tone CrossFit and all that, but yeah, still support the boys. It was their six, six year anniversary birthday. I feel like I was one of the OG supporters, so had to rep again. And this was only 12 pound for the t-shirt. 12 pound plus five of delivery, so got two. Now, like I say, shoe storage is a go. We've got 18 of these bad boys to build. build these storage boxes. Can you see them? I'm not about to. A little bit. You've just seen timeouts anyway. Because they don't look up to much and these storage boxes they range in a lot of like price. They can be like three four quid on wish real real cheap or you can pay like 20 25 quid a, a box on like foot uh foot asylum I think I saw them for soul trader or something like that. So um, I went for fairly reasonable ones. It's just to clean up the look of all your shoes being boxed together. Um, what material is this? Couldn't tell you. But this material, you have a door and a back. Really, really easy to put together and I think they look pretty clean and then I'll show you all together. So, simple as, original case, they have two little flappy paddles. Fold them in. Once they fold, you then get the back piece. Push it on, get the back, wait till you hear the click in. Did you hear that? Little clip. Other side, push it in, match it up. Clicks in. Then obviously, you want to match it up with the back of your box because this is the last one, so I need the door to come out 
and swing this way to match the others. So you're gonna put the box on like that. Same again, open the door all the way up, fold the ends in. There you go. And yeah, they have top and bottom ends so that they all stack on top of each other really nicely. So, that's all the boxes created, 18. Let's go and put the shoes in. So, this is a little before of the, the shoe corner. And then obviously we got lots in the tubs. Before we had a chest of drawers here and here, but it's taking a lot of space, didn't like it. So now I've put all the clothes that were in the chest of drawers neatly folded, which I think looks better. And now we have the room for the shoes. This is how it's looking. Shoe boxes all lined up, looking good. And that was so much better use of space. Like, it's a tiny, obviously, room anyway. But, yeah, much better use of space. Doors open, shoes decent. Now, these boxes, I'm a size nine. It's quite tight. In fact, the easy where it's thick, on the mid part there. I struggle to get the easies in, so they're gonna sit on top. We then have the rest of the shoes, and then the, the loser shoes sitting there. But hopefully, maybe by the end of 2021, 20, we have another two rows, you know, coming up here, with some decent shoes. But yeah, happy with them all in all. Uh, a good little purchase, and a very good addition to the old uh, walking wardrobe, walk wardrobe slash sneaker room. So, anyway, I'm going to round up the video here, keep it short, keep it sweet. I will link those Amazon down below, um, these Amazon boxes down below. And uh, yeah, I think they look really good. I don't think, I was worried that they would look crap. But like I said, they weren't too expensive at all. But happy with them. So, yeah, go and get them involved. My goal is to get these three at some point in my lifetime. Got the tints, I got these, Beth these for Christmas not too fussed about the belugas but yeah off white ones Sean Weatherspoons that's the next one the big one for me right anyway I'm rambling hope you enjoy I'll catch you in the next one bonus footage now I had to get these on I was on the hunt for these bad boys on the weekend and yeah got some Marmite hot cross buns M&S they are fantastic it's Marmite and cheese have them in the toaster bit of butter on Go and get yourself involved with these while you can. Uh, right, and obviously if you're watching this video like three months down the line, that's less than ideal. But also, you're going to see a hat in every single video until lockdown is over because my barnet is atrocious. Any lockdown barbers doing their thing round, round by me, hit me in the DMs because, yeah, otherwise the hat's staying on.